Hi, I'm Denise. Welcome to Bear Mountain. I'm out in the greenhouse. Well, I'm always out here in the greenhouse, but today I'm out here working on bedding plants. This year I decided, well, actually I ordered the seeds last fall, but I decided that I wanted to grow my own um, bedding plants because our place is just, we got tons of pots and uh, planters and things like that and I wanted to be able to grow my own bedding plants rather than rely on going to a nursery or to the store and buying six packs of different um, bedding plants. Petunias, um, alyssum, lobelia, little marigolds, nasturtiums, and some even um, short zinnias for that are designed for pots and the reason I wanted to do it is one you know uh, we like the idea of being resilient and you know having and doing things on our own little farm and two when you order seeds and you um, you have all these choices you get to pick and choose your own color palette and not just rely on what the nursery has in that particular season or your home center or whatever. You know, they're all, they have really beautiful stuff, but if I wanted different colors and combinations and things like that, I was at the, their, you know, their decision of what they were offering this year. And I wanted to be able to pick the color combinations and things that I wanted to put in my my pots and planters and that that kind of thing. The thing on um, that is that I've been growing bedding plants for years, but mostly not seeding them myself. I have usually relied on you know a nursery or someplace like that. And so this year, you know, the challenge was, can I get things started? And so the first things that I uh, got started was um, petunias. And petunias are an incredibly tiny seed, um, smaller than a lot of our other cut flowers um, seeds. And so being smart and having trouble seeing things that, you know, with bad up close eyes, I uh, I went for pelleted seeds, and those are they came in some wildly colored um, pellets, and you know this fluorescent green and an orange, and so it was really easy to seed, and I seeded them in our soil blocks, and I will show you that in a moment. Um, the one thing I'm not sure that I got right is the timing. And so today what I'm doing is I have uh, several trays of petunias to bump up. And I started these in the 1st of March. And I'm hoping that they'll be speedy growers and get rolling so that, you know, when my daffodils and things like that in our pots, are done and you know they've all faded back that I'll have some pretty flowers to put in them. Here's an example of a tray of um, petunias that I just bumped up yesterday and they all look really good really healthy they had great roots and um, I'm just gonna be curious on how fast they'll be ready you know, to put into the pots later on. So I got to get busy on the um, bumping up portion of it. So I'll set these over here. And I have my tray of six packs ready to go and I'll just be doubling little holes into the tray to make sure uh, to put the uh, little um, mini block in and here 
is a picture or here's my tray of this particular tray of petunias that I'm working on. Now the missing part up on right here are the ones that I did over there. And they're in um, our mini blocks in groups of 100. And you can see that I've started in on the second 100. But at the bottom here where the knife is, you can see that was a crop failure. Um, I don't know why. Uh, they were all, you know, new seed. And I can see the little green pellet sitting there. They were, you know, on a heat uh, in their house with, you know, not super hot, but enough heat. They were moist. They had a um, dome over them. The others fired off really fast, and these guys didn't. So as you can see, they're drying now because they're not getting watered. And I'm just not sure why they didn't. They didn't work, but. This tray had the two 100 rows in it, and one of the trays back there is almost full with 300 um, little mini blocks of petunias. So, I'm not sure why they didn't work, but you know, that happens. In um, a couple of days, I will be starting our nasturtiums in um, uh, tray also I know that we've um, we can plant them outside directly in the um, in the soil and they do well but I have a whole bunch of different ones that I want to mix it up and you know kind of create this pretty flow of nasturtiums so I'm gonna start them here inside um, in my trays and get them started so that I can plant them how I want. I have this vision of how I want to put these out. The same thing will be um, for, uh, um, I have zinnias and I have little marigolds, not the big cutting kind that we also grow, but the kind that are eight to 10 inches and, um, you know there's so many colors and so many varieties and and stuff so I have a few of those that are kind of new to me that I'm um, gonna put in and then the last one which I'm still waiting for it to warm up is I have all kinds of zinnias that are not for they're not cutting ones although I could cut them for you know our vases they're just not tall enough to sell but there are so many colors. They're so beautiful. They're so prolific in terms of, you know, lots of blooms. And I want to get those um, going as soon as it's warm enough. We are still, we got one more day of frost, one more night, excuse me, of frost. And then our temperatures should start to warm up, um, you know, into the 40s and the daytime temperatures in the high 60s low 70s which is going to be great and nice to to have uh, to have that kind of temperature but uh, zinnias particularly the nighttime temperatures got to be closer to the 50s because they really need it to be warm otherwise they get stunted and they turn red and they're just they're not as healthy and when you have at least here when we have an unhealthy um you know flowering plant like a zinnia then the bugs that eventually come in the late spring and summer the bugs that we get just go after all the unhealthy so it's always for us most important to grow the most healthy of starts and seedlings to get them you know really good and established so as much as i want to get those zinnias really rolling i think i gotta wait a few more weeks so anyway i just thought that i would share the the um bedding plants that i'm getting started and i'll be sharing with you uh, updating those as we go and now they look and 
course, towards the end when they're all blooming and stuff, that will be the, you know, big show. So, um, I gotta get started on these. I'll catch you the next time that it's, uh, uh, I have something to show you that I'm working on in the greenhouse. So thank you so much for uh, hanging out with us here at Bear Mountain and we'll see you in the next video. Take care. Stay safe. Bye-bye.